Hey guys, Book1590 here, coming to another action figure review. This time we're looking at the NECA Toys Ultimate T-800 Police Assault Terminator. This is from the 1984 Terminator movie. You can see it's in the box, it's Schwarzenegger. It has an image of Arnold in that image from the Police Assault. It says the Terminator right on the bottom. Right on the top, it says it's pretty much the same thing. The Terminator, warning, choke and hazard. I want to choke on Arnold. Ages 17 and up, and I am eligible by twice that age. Maybe not twice. Over here on the back, we got cool little poses of Arnold. Some little scanning mechanism stuff that you can see, like the Terminator's view, point of view. Here he's like taking out the eye, already took out the eye. Here he is, standard position. And here he is with that extra battle damage. Let me do close up, extra battle damage looking head because he does come with alternate parts opening up here in the window box you can see the art Arnold pose right there that's the actual action figure pose comes with a nice little velcro opening and over here in the window box you get everything you need you got Arnold you got alternate head with the uh, one broken eye you got battle damage Arnold head you got that one pistol you got both rifles which I don't know the names of and uh, alternate um, battle damage hands so you can take it out and pose him as you'd like. So yeah, let's crack open this Terminator because I'm excited. Let's see how ultimate. All right. So here we have Ultimate T800 Police Assault version opened up and out of the packaging. As you can tell, he comes with the other accessories. I will be showing those off, but let's take a closer look at this Ultimate T800. Redesigned, refurnished. Very nice gloss on the jacket. Oh my god, the details on this bad boy. Man. Man, oh man, oh man. Look at that. I love the new legs. Love the new sculpt. Not new sculpt, but same sculpt. Oh, I tighten that up in there. There we go. Just outstanding. Look at the, the blood stain and everything right there. You can see. Blood stain here, blood stain there, even the hair, the glasses. I feel like the glasses are a little bit more glossy. It does bug me that this one has like a little booger thing over here on the bottom part of the glasses, but overall looks nice. You can't even tell. Awesome, pure awesome. Let's get some of those accessories out of here. Alright, so here you can see I have him holding both guns. Feels so right. Holding both guns in his hand. He's got this one little machine gun type thing with another, I guess, round taped to it together. And then he's got this long one. Very nice. And I normally pose him like uh, he's attacking at the police assault station. You know, this is my normal pose for him. Uh, I'll do a comparison with my original police assault station T-800 in a bit. Wow, let me take out some of that excess rubber. That's what she said. So yeah, I mean, looks very cool. Have him standing like that. Just have him like posing like that. Again, not very good poser, but you can see. Very cool. Look at that. Look at that sculptmanship. So yeah, let's go over the articulation, standard articulation as the other ultimate t Technoir figure. The head can rotate around because it's on the little ball joint thing that you can just pop it off and put on the other heads if you wish. Let's put on this one just for a show. Come on, don't fail me now, NECA. Okay, wants to fail me a little bit. Kind of got it in there, not completely, but who's complaining? Uh, so yeah, the arms can go in and out, forward and back. He's got one joint here in the elbow. He's got rotation here in the wrist. He's got a movement here in the torso. Focus on that a little bit more. He's got that rubbery pants type thing. So the legs can go forward and back, in and out. He's got articulation here in the knees. And he's got articulation here in the feet. And he's got that ankle pivot as well, which is very nice, very appreciated. So as you can tell, I already swapped that one head. Here he is without the sunglasses. When uh, I guess he's checking himself out in the mirror and he's like, oh, damn, my eyes looking sexy as hell. 
check out that sculpt work uh, it's a little dark hold on check out that sculpt work very nice you can tell the battle damage eye and the retina is all red and stuff swap the head let's give it the extra battle damage pose look jeez these are a little bit tight to put on I don't want to break the figure either I just got this bad boy okay so the head is a little <laughs> hard to put on but you know you get the gist this is the battle damage pose you can see it's not as bloodied as the first version that we had gotten which I will be doing comparison with so stick around for that wow look at that I feel like it's got excess uh, excess rubber on the bottom parts maybe that's why it doesn't want to lock into place okay so that's pretty bad that this head won't snap in there but yeah let's do that comparison real quick now that I got this head kind of it's kind of like resting on the shoulders see if I can nope okay hold on Okay, it doesn't want to work for me, but here he is standing next to the battle damage version, the original one we got. This one, of course, has more bloodied up uh, on the chest area over here, and he's got his pants a little bit more dirty and charcoaled, as you can tell. And he does come with the battle damage pair of arms, so that's always good to have. You see the charred uh, hands right there. I didn't feel like taking these out of the packaging and just putting them on there, honestly. I'm just going to leave them in the packaging. But you get the point. You can swap the arms. You can swap the heads. Sorry, figure. <laughs> Swapping out the head. You can see this head is not as bloodied as its original predecessor. You can tell the original version had a little bit more bloody detail on him. But overall, still a really nice figure. I feel like the eye paint was a little bit better on the new version here. But he's definitely got more blood. If anything, you could get a Sharpie, which I am a fan of getting Sharpies and just kind of blooding up the figure a little bit more. That always works for me. But yeah, that's that head sculpt. And then I do have the original open eye head from the first one versus the new one that just was given to us. And not much more difference. The hair is a little bit more... Uh, darker I'm thinking and the skin tone is a little bit lighter you see the skin tone got lighter in the figures but it's pretty much the same head but now let's compare it with the original okay so before I do a comparison with the other figure I just want to tell you that from the original battle damage if you do have the original battle damage uh, T-800 police assault figure you can't pop this head out it is a bit of a tough pop hmm, tough pop but you can pop this head off and place it on this figure as opposed to the uh, battle damage figure that I mean the battle damage head that came on with this figure let me just show you it's a little bit more pliable and will fit perfectly on the new ultimate T800 as you can see this is the ultimate one so yeah there's that so you can swap the heads of these uh, as opposed to using the swapped head that they gave you on the other one. Okay, hold on. I'll okay, so here we have Arnie standing next to Arnie. As you can tell, the ultimate version, his jacket on the inside, I mean his shirt on the inside is a little bit more grayish. As opposed to the jacket on the inside of the original T-800 police assault station is bluish. More bluish grayish than grayish. And the pants are a little bit more like uh, charred or weathered has a more weathered look to the pants it looks all battle damaged and whatnot looks very cool uh, the jacket as well it's got more of a weathered look to it I think if we're comparing it let's really get a closer look at this it seems to be a little bit more weathered like in the, the new design as opposed to the old version uh, again, the head sculpts are pretty much the same, except for the skin tone. That's a little bit different. And then we got a nice little jackety look to him. So yeah, 
that's pretty much it my review guys for this figure don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it subscribe for more um, definitely like the new ultimate versions of the Terminators that NECA has been popping out for us I can't wait until that uh, ultimate T-1000 the motorcycle uh, head one that one's gonna be a great figure to own and add to my collection definitely you know you, you guys know I'm a Terminator fan so I had to get this bad boy and for only like what is it 25 bucks 25 bucks at your local Toys R Us so you can buy it online on Toys R Us .com and use the your membership card so you can get you know reward points and yeah I mean why not you know you shouldn't pass out on this bad boy in case you guys all you know missed out on the original T-800s that came out back like five years ago then definitely pick this bad boy up so yeah thanks for watching guys until next time